Hi, welcome to Easy Payroll Guide. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video, we're going to be talking about overtime pay. The Fair Labor Standards Act, which is also known as FLSA, states that an employer is required to pay a non-exempt employee at least minimum wage and overtime pay for any hours worked over the standard 40-hour work week. So these are federal guidelines that state that any employee must be paid overtime unless they are an exempt employee. Now most exempt employees are salaried employees who have a higher level position, some sort of executive or administrative position. So there is a whole other video and web page for salaried employees. Please see that page if you are unsure whether or not your employee is an exempt or non-exempt salaried employee. If your employee is paid an hourly wage, then they are automatically guaranteed to be paid overtime for any hours worked over 40 per work week. Now the question that most employers have is how do I calculate overtime pay? For each hour worked over 40 per week, the employee receives one and a half times their regular pay. These are the federal guidelines. Now some states have their own guidelines and if the state guidelines are higher than the federal guidelines then the employee is entitled to the higher rates. For most people the employer is required to pay the standard one and a half times the regular pay. So here's how it would be calculated. Let's take the scenario of Bill who works in a factory and receives $10 per hour. He worked 50 hours last week. So 50 hours means that Bill worked his 40 hour work week plus 10 overtime hours because 40 plus 10 is 50. Here's how we would calculate Bill's overtime pay and his gross pay. So Bill's regular pay is the 40 hours, which is the standard work week, times his $10 per hour rate. That's a total of $400. He worked 10 additional hours over the 40 because he worked 50 hours. So we're going to take the 10 additional hours and we're going to multiply that by 15. Now you might say, how did you get 15? What we're going to do is take the $10 that is his regular pay rate, multiply it by one and a half because overtime is one and a half times your regular pay. 10 times one and a half is 15. So that means that the pay rate for overtime is $15. So 10 times $15 is $150. That means that his total gross pay is $400 for regular pay plus 150 in overtime pay, which is a total of $550. That would be Bill's gross pay, which includes his regular pay and his overtime pay. So there is a formula that I've come up with that you can use for calculating gross pay if you have overtime wages. You need to know your regular hourly rate in order to figure this out and then you need to know the total number of hours worked. So what you're going to do is first enter your hourly rate, enter the overtime rate which is a simple calculation of the hourly rate times one and a half and then to get the total gross pay you multiply the hourly rate times 40 plus the overtime rate times the number of overtime hours and this will give you your gross pay. So let's take a look at an example. Maria works at a supermarket and she filled in for a sick employee. She worked a total of 45 hours last week. Her base pay rate is $8.50 per hour. So this means that Maria worked five hours overtime because 45 minus the 40 hour work week leaves us with five extra hours. So here's how we would calculate her gross wages. Her hourly rate we know is $8.50 per hour. Her overtime rate, we're going to take the $8.50, multiply it by one and a half, 1.5. 1 
That gives us an overtime rate of $12.75. So for the 40 hours, she gets paid $8.50. For the additional overtime hours, she gets paid $12.75. So for her total gross pay, she gets $8.50 times 40 plus $12.75 times the additional five hours that she worked overtime. This gives us a gross pay of $403.75. And then if you want to break it out, you can break it out as regular pay was $8.50 times 40, which is $3.40, and her overtime pay, $12.75 times 5, was $63.75. And when you add these together, you will get the $403.75. So this is how you would calculate overtime pay and gross pay if you're trying to calculate your employees' gross wages. Okay? So what happens when a holiday falls within the work week? And this does happen um, a multitude of times throughout the year. So let's say that you are working and you have Monday off for Memorial Day. Does that get included in your hours? And the answer is no. When you calculate the number of hours worked, you do not include special hours, such as a holiday, either your sick time or your vacation time. The overtime pay is only based on the number of hours that are actually worked. So, for example, Josh receives $12.50 per hour for his clerk position. He had off on Monday for Memorial Day. He then worked a total of 36 hours between Tuesday and Friday of that week. Josh feels that he should be paid overtime because when you add in the 8 hours of holiday pay plus his 36 hours, that's a total of 44 hours for the week. Do you need to pay Josh overtime? for this work week? And the answer is no. Josh does not receive overtime pay. He only actually worked 36 hours. So he will be paid, if it's in his contract, for the eight hours of holiday pay, but he will not receive overtime because he only worked 36 hours. So if you do include holiday pay in your contract, then he could be paid 1250 times the 44 hours, which is $550, but it would not be an overtime compensation. Okay, so that's a great question that's asked quite often. Now again, there are state overtime laws, and if your particular state has their own overtime laws and it's a higher standard than the federal law, then the employee is entitled to the highest standard. If the standard is not, then the employee must receive the one and a half times pay, which is the federal law. So there also is no federal law in regards to working overtime on either nights or weekends. So an employee who has to work weekends cannot say that that's overtime. It's just a 40 hour work week. It doesn't matter which days of the week. And if you wanted to put that into an agreement that's worked out between you and your employee, that would be fine, but there's no federal law stating this. Another frequently asked question that comes about a lot is, instead of paying overtime, can I just give my employee comp time? Can I just give them off for three hours if they end up working over for three hours? And by law, no, you cannot offer comp time in lieu of paying overtime. The FLSA states that you must pay overtime pay if they work more than 40 hours per week. And this really cannot be waived through any agreement and cannot be substituted with comp time or compensatory time off. So you need to abide by the law and pay your employee overtime pay, which is one and a half times their regular pay rate, if they work more than 40 hours per week unless they are an exempt salaried employee. And again, please watch the video or see the page on salaried employees to make sure that if you classify 
your employee as a salaried exempt employee, that they meet the federal guidelines. That's very important. Okay, so I hope this video helps you to understand how to calculate overtime pay. Thank you for visiting Easy Payroll Guide.